All right, guys, James and Josh back here with you again from Jackson Metal. We're talking about insulation options for your post frame structure today. As you can see, we're in our display here. We've got a two inch vinyl back insulation up there. And with that, we're gonna ask Josh, could you take us through the options that are offered for these structures and what they'll do? Yes, yeah, certainly, certainly we can. So the first one we're gonna run into, James, here is gonna be a, what's considered to be a radiant barrier. This right here uh, is a foil back on one side. This other side is just a clear side. And what you're gonna notice is the bubbles. This is the nickname trade term for this is a double bubble insulation. Okay. So what they've actually have here is about a quarter inch air gap. That's okay. actually the only insulative value that you actually get. So this thing is actually gonna have about a R1.2 true insulative value. Uh, but it has a radiant value here of about 95%. So what that means in layman's terms is this, when it's installed on a building like this, foil side in, okay. it's actually going to block the emissivity of about 95% of the radiant heat that tries to come off of the metal. Okay. So maybe about 5% is actually getting through. A lot of people are going to ask, so that means only about 5% of the heat can enter my building. That's not true. It's only about 5% of the actual radiant heat that's going to be thermally transferred here. So this right here, it's a decent product if you're looking for an insulation to keep your building from being like that oppressive heat of an oven is what I equate that to. Okay. So some buildings that have no insulation or anything or not even a radiant barrier, when you go in there, you feel it and it feels like you're in an oven. Right. That's due to the fact that the radiant heat transfer is actually coming inside of that building right there. So this is a decent product for summer. Winter time is going to give you almost zero value at all. No, uh, no value, huh? Really no value for winter due to the fact it's only an R1. And most of these double bubbles are going to be doing pretty good to achieve the R value of one, a true fenestration value Okay. In, uh, in terms of R. Okay. 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 So the next product we have that we're going to be looking at here is going to be a vinyl back insulation. So this right here, as you can see, has a white backing. That's also the insulation that's in this particular display model that we have here. Right, right. This is considered a mass insulation. So you can see this is the fiberglass of that mass insulation right here. This insulation here is only a couple inches thick. It's going to, going to get about an R8 to R10 value. Okay. It also has a radiant, radiant backing on it. So this will also stop about 95% of that emissivity that would be coming through from the radiant heat thermal transfer of the metal panels. Okay. So you have a mass insulation here with a radiant back on it and a vapor vinyl back here that will also serve as a vapor barrier. So this actually will stop condensation. It'll stop vapor. Okay. It will also give you about an R8 to R10 value, true fenestration value. Okay. So this one here, will do pretty good in a wintertime situation. It'll keep it relatively decent in there. It's not gonna be what a house insulation is. It's not gonna be up to an occupied code insulation, okay. like a spray foam or something of that nature. Right. But it's a pretty good install here. I know, um, I think this is what you guys kind of offer as a standard uh, for most of your buildings at Jackson Metal, if I'm not mistaken. It, it is most definitely our standard option and to cover you know what the points you touched on right there it's really the only product we offer that has an R value to it. So in the winter time to hold that heat in that you're paying for, you're gonna wanna go with a product like that. So what I have here is two examples of that. I'm gonna give a shout out to Silver Coat Insulation. They service us well. They give us a very good product. And one thing I really like about it that Josh is gonna explain a little bit more is it, it comes with instructions, it's easy to use, and um, Josh, could you hit on that a little bit from your experience in the field installing yeah. this material? Okay, so guys, I can tell you from experience, being out in the field, if you're dealing with a roll type insulation, that insulation right there, you're gonna have to measure it out. You're gonna have to cut it out. You don't really know exactly where it's gonna go. Uh, dealing with these right here with silver coat here, this is a product that we went to. So you can see on here, it's clearly indicated this particular roll is going to be a roof section. The roof section is outlined here in black. So it's actually indicating this is a roll that will go onto the roof. 
You can also see down here, it'll clearly show you this is a 48 inch by 26 foot cut blue tag indicating it goes on the roof. So this actually right here is gonna be a pre-cut piece for the building it was ordered for. These rolls of insulation are ordered for the pitch, for the eave height, for the end wall heights that these rolls of insulation are gonna be going on. So when you're in the field, you don't have to do a lot of measuring, cutting, trying to determine where does this insulation need to be applied onto this building. It's easily color coded. It's already cut out. The cuts are already done. There's not a lot that you have to do but begin installation. Uh, just looking at this one, this right here is gonna be a sidewall. Okay. So as you can see on the building pick here, this is gonna be a sidewall of the building right here, indicated in black right here. And this tag is gonna be red. So for the particular installation we have going on here today, you'll have blue for roof, you'll have red for sidewall, you would probably have yellow for end walls. Okay. And what they're saying here is, these are already cut, they're already measured out, all you have to do is take it out of the bag, unroll, and start installation. So it's a super easy way to do. It has a three inch lip on it that will lap over the next piece. So if you look on this building right here, this is one section that stopped. Here's where another section is actually starting. And here's the three inch overlay piece right here. It's gonna transfer over onto the next piece of insulation. So it gives that vapor barrier all the way and gives you a nice aesthetically clean look okay. on the inside as a final install. Okay. So it's a very good product. It's laid out with full details. So for our kit customers, your you're do-it-yourself guys and That's contractors, right. When you get this material delivered on the job site with the Jackson Metal Kit, it's color-coded, as Josh mentioned. There's gonna be a printout also showing you the number of rolls that are for each section in your building. All your material will be there. You can check it off, you can lay it out, which means a quick, easy install, which is what we need for you to be efficient on the job site. So, touching back on a few things that you said right there, I wanna hear this clearly because I work in sales here with some of our guys okay. and we get customers that come in and they want us to do a quote comparison that they got from someone else. So what yes. I'm seeing is Josh, that there are some competitors out there that are quoting the R foil and they're giving it an R10 value. Okay. And it's, it's way less expensive than what this insulation is. Okay. So we're not really comparing apples to apples in that sense. What, what do you think? What can you say about that? So what's happening there anytime that you're being quoted and if it's a double bubble or if it's a foil back type of insulation or if they're calling it any of those names or uh, some of the common terms Astro Eco or some of those things like that, if they're calling it anything like that, you're actually looking at a radiant value. Okay. And they're trying to rate that based on how much reflectivity is actually being reflected in terms of heat. Okay. But due to the fact that those are not a true mass insulation, those will be doing very good to achieve much over a 1.5 R value. I don't know of any radiant barrier in the industry right now without a mass insulation in the middle of it that's achieving anything above a 1.5 R value. So that's basically not going to be able to happen at all. So you got one of two things. Either they're mistaken. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's training, right? You know, and it could be training okay. right there. Or, you know, they might just be a little mistaken on what what they're actually looking at in terms of R value, radiant heat reflectivity, uh, or exactly what it is that they got going on all the way around. Okay, so this is very good. This is very educational for you, the consumer also, because if you go out, you make a good investment in a good building that you're wanting to have insulation installed in, you wanna make sure you're getting a product that's gonna meet your expectations. So that's what this video is about right here. If you have any questions, please give us a call at Jackson Metal Roof. Our sales staff is trained. We've got information on both products. We offer both products and we'll take care of you. Thank you.